Hi and Assalamualaikum to Madam Norizan binti Mozi. My name is Nur Raila binti Zanal Abidin from BA2324B and I'll be explaining about the company background, mission, vision, internal and external customer and also its core processes. Our group have chose Tilaif Meru as the company which have taken the initiative and the opportunity to do the re-engineering process. So, Tilaif was first established in 2017 by Brian Liu, the CEO of Tilaif who was a franchise holder of famously known company Cha Time. Tilaf has various beverages that fall under categories such as tea, cocoa, coffee, smoothie, sparkling juice and many more. Its signature beverage is signature brown sugar pearl milk tea. Among 650 Tilaf outlets, 611 stores are in Malaysia while the rest branches are spread throughout 7 countries which are Australia, Brunei, United Kingdom, Philippines, Cambodia, Myanmar and Vietnam. Tilaf's mission is to become a part of everyone's daily food and beverage needs, beginning with beverages and to create joyful experience through their wide variety of tea and beverages. While to be the leading omnichannel beverage operator in Southeast Asia is the vision of the company. Also, the objectives of Tea Life is aimed to provide an experience rather than just a drink. Moving on to the next slide, we have the internal customer of Tea Life Meru. There are two internal customers, which are the supervisor and the staff. So, the supervisor is responsible for overseeing all matters at Tea Life. In fact, the supervisor is in charge of developing good relationships with the customers uh, while ensuring that staff follow all the guidelines set up for them to use. And most importantly, their roles are to ensure that customers are satisfied with the service given. While the staff is one of the crucial elements in Tea Life company and they value their staff by giving lots of benefits as a token of appreciation. The staff will get many benefits from the company such as free staff meals, adequate and flexible rest time and many more. Next is external customer. There are also two external customer in Tea Life Meru which are the, supp uh, the supplier and the customer. Tilaf Meru always maintain a good relationship with the suppliers in order to improve the quality of their products as well as the operations of their business. In fact, having a good relationship with the suppliers can help the business to oversee many business opportunities as the supplier can be one of the supporters who might give them a new insight and inspire new business to approach them. Secondly, is the customer itself. It is true that the customer is the most important element in having a business. Hence, Tilaf Meru values its customers by giving them the best service and products in order to keep the customer satisfied at all times. Next is the core processes of T-Life. In any business, customer relationship management or also known as CRM is important for the business to grow rapidly. Hence, why T-Life value and appreciate its customer by always show appreciation through its operation. For example, T-Life always giving out uh, promotions, produce very beautiful and creative merchandise and always communicate with its customer through online platforms. Tea Life also very concerned about the customer satisfaction and also its loyalty and always find a way to retain existing customers and in the meantime looking forward to have many more customers. Next is packaging management. Tea Life believes that packaging serves as an identification of the product. Apart from that, the packaging itself should come with protection that can avoid dirt, insects and also breakage. Also, it is important to have the packaging to become convenient to the customer in terms of the carriage from one place to another. Also, when the customer wants to consume the product. Lastly, packaging simplifies the work of sales promotion. All of these factors is the driving force for Tea Life to change its packaging from normal plastic to a biodegradable one, also from a plastic straw to a paper straw. This solution was also due to in response to the world's call to stop the usage of plastic. Hence, why Tea Life really concerned about their packaging. Next, employee management. We all know dealing with human resources is the most complicated and tough job. Therefore, in order to satisfy and taking care of the employees, T-Life Meru takes a step ahead in managing and keeping the staff to work here by letting the staff uh, having a flexible working hour, staff meal and a lot of other benefits. By knowing how to deal with human resources, T-Life can keep on growing and meeting its mission and vision as well as, well as the objectives of the business itself. We also have marketing and sales management as the core process of T-Life company. 
at TLF Meru, they really emphasize marketing and sales management as this is one of the core businesses that help them to meet the objectives of their business. They believe that by having stronger marketing, they can obtain good sales at the end of every month. They use platforms such as Facebook and Instagram to connect more with their customers and to promote their new products and services. This technique is such a good way to increase and boost your sales as well as give them more exposure in the market. Next is the services management. Service management is a must at T-Life Meru as this can help the customer to stay loyal and satisfied with the business. Plus, the staff has been trained to memorize all the, uh, all the menu and prices in order to provide fast and good services to the customers. By acquiring this skill, customers will become happier and save time to buy any selected products. Lastly is the supply relationship. Having a good relationship with suppliers may help the, uh, the business grow successfully. This is because they can share a lot of useful information together as supplier can be one of the credible sources when seeking for information in the market. This, that is why TLF always taking care of uh, its relationship with all the suppliers to maintain the business as well as to produce great products. So I guess that's all for me. Next, I'll pass to Ms. Nur Aula to explain further on the next slide. Thank you. Hmm, ever wonder why organizations want to redesign their business process? Well, according to Michael Hammer, the father of BPR, one of the reasons is because organizations encounter a problem with their SS process. And today, me, Nura Aula Binti Mohamed, going to explain about SS process of Tilaf Meru. So, let me know more about Tilaf Meru SS process and what is the problem until they want to redesign their process. Well, basically, Tilaf Meru has decided to redesign their business process. One of their business process, which is preparing and making a drink using manual SOP. Manual SOP is basically a process that Tilak Meru has decided to redesign. So as shown here, which is the manual SOP that has been used by Tilak Meru staff for actually quite a long time. Manual SOP is best described as a handbook that lists all the detailed content in every Tilak drink just as the ingredient, the measurement, and all of the detail of Tilaf Meru drink. And Tilaf Meru has decided to change their manual SOP to computerized SOP, which is KDS. Instead of using manual SOP to actually prepare the drink for the customer, Tilaf has decided to change to KDS which is kitchen display system that my friend Farah will explain more about it. That make the process to be improved is manual SOP to computerized SOP, which is KDS. Moving to the next part, which is as is flowchart of T-Life Meru, which is the current process of flowchart. Basically, as we learn in chapter 6 under process improvement, Process chart or flow chart is identified is to identify each step in specific word process. And the life Meru as its flow chart that contain of 10 steps in total. And the initial step of the flow chart is greeting a customer like Hi, welcome to T Life, what you like to order. And next is key in and repeat order. And of course, payment process. Uh, and right after the successful payment process, this sticker will come out. Uh, will come out. The sticker is look like this. And then, uh, the sticker will contain all the detail about the drink, which is the name of the drink, the price, and the number of your order. But, cashier need to paste the sticker on the cup manually. And hand in the cup to the kitchen staff to actually notify them about the new order and it's so stressful because when i used to be a cashier at the life i need to key in the order and i need to paste the sticker and i'm the one that will hand in uh, the cup to the kitchen and i need to do all those things manually 
and right after kitchen staff have received the order, they will start to do the drink by referring to the manual SOP. And finally, the drink will be given to the customer by calling them manually also like signature brown sugar permit tea 0101 your order yes it can be denied that using a manual method can save a lot of money but it can also cause a lot of problem that may tilaf meru decide to redesign their manual sop process to kds and the current as is process took 7 minutes 55 seconds to complete because they use manual SOP. And as mentioned by Ms. Akma during our interview, one drink needs to be done within only 5 minutes because this is the target lead time that Dila Meru want to achieve. But they could not. And one of the reasons is because they use a manual system and manual SOP. Next, uh, we move to the fishbone diagram or Ishikawa diagram. Yes, my fish bone may be ugly because I sewing it myself. But this uh, fish bone diagram is the effect and the causes of a diagram that help organization to basically track down the reason for imperfection and failure. Um, this diagram look just like a fish skeleton with the effect of problem, and it is head. And the causes of the problem feeding into the bone. Hence, uh, based on the fish bone diagram that we have developed here, we can identify the effect of using manual SOP that has been encountered by T-Life Meru staff and for problem and the causes and why. The first problem that T-Life Meru encountered from utilizing the manual SOP is slow progress in preparing the order. This problem can happen because the staff will have the hard time to actually see and refer to the manual SOP, especially in the hectic time as they need to put more focus into seeing the phone that barely is so small that could lead to delay in preparing order as the staff take more time in referring to their manual SOP. Imagine when we want to read something with a small form. Of course, it will take more time than the user, right? And it's so stressful. Yes, yes, yes. New stuff can make the business run smoothly, but the problem here is they are not familiar with the SOP. As the life Meru did not provide any training to them, according to Ms. Akma, and they only depends on the manual SOP to make a drink for their customer that can actually cause a bad tracking process. As they need to get back on the SOP of every step, for instance, when they are already on the cool brew, and they need to revert back to only refer to the SOP because the SOP is not being in place at the cool brew. The SOP is being in place at a seal section. Imagine, okay, you do the drink here and then you need to go here. And they go here back and they go here back. So it can cause a back tracking process, of course. The problem is sending every new order manually. Basically, the kitchen need to send every new order manually to the kitchen by handing the cup that has a sticker on it each, uh, for each new order that the cashier got. However, in dual course, the cashier might misplace the cup. There will be like a lot of cup, two or more cup. And sometimes the new cup is being in place at the in front instead of at the behind. And the old cup is being in place at the behind instead of in front. And all of this will cause a complaint from the customer. And lastly, using a manual SOP while receiving a lot of order could bring a problem to T-Life. As T-Life Meru only provide one handbook, one manual SOP to all of their staff members to refer. With only limited space and overlap order that they receive, they will tend to not refer to the SOP and mystically put the wrong amount of sugar, cocoa,
cool and all of these will lead to error cause as they need to make a new order as they need to make a new drink of course but then what are uh, work at the tea lab the kitchen the kitchen space is so small and limited imagine for people working together with a lot of order and i honestly say that many of us did not refer to the sop while making a drink because when i want to uh, refer to the sop other is refer and i want to refer so i end up not referring it <laughs> for error cause of course, if customer want to exchange uh, the drink because the taste is not the same as usual because the staff did not follow the SOP, the drink will only cause and increase the error cost. Next, passing to the next person which is Farah Natasha Benti Muhammad Firdaus. Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Faratasha Binti Mafidaus from BA2324B. I will be explaining about the person in charge of to be process, description of to be process, description of flowchart, and the benefits of to be process. I will start with person in charge of to be process. There are five person that involved and responsible for the to be process implementation in Tilaf Meru, which the first person is the director, Mr. Tan Yit Lun. His responsibilities are to approve and make decisions throughout the process of implementing KDS in Tilaf Meru. Next is the Assistant Director which is Mr. Tan Ji Lai. As we all know, Assistant responsibility are to help uh, the Director. Same goes to Mr. Tan Ji Lai. He will monitor the whole project and help the Director in making the decision. Next, we have Miss Peking as the advisor. Miss Pick will ensure that the whole team and head management do the decision on the right path. Next, we have a uh, project manager, which is uh, Mr. Pete Jackson. He will be responsible for monitoring the KDS process and solve any issue that arise along the way in implementation of KDS. Last but not least, we have Miss Dayani Akma, who works at uh, as supervisor at Tilaf Meru. Miss Akma's responsibilities are to teach the staff about the new system and to ensure uh, that the whole team know how to use it and familiar with the new changes. Now, we are moving to description of KDS. KDS is a system that will significantly help Tilaf Meru, particularly their employees. As a new system, KDS, uh, every staff member can refer to each drink uh, SOP uh, while preparing the beverages. When a customer's payment is completed, the system will automatically display the details of the instruction and measurements of the drinks. Uh, because uh, Tilaf Meru is a well-known food and beverages company that receives too many orders during peak hours and promotional time, a KDS is required to make it easier for every staff to refer to. As you can see, the picture beside me is a digital screen system that helps uh, Tilaf Meru to organize their daily order. KDS will keep track of each order by displaying the ordering number on top of the SOP drink. KDS assists uh, Tilaf Meru in becoming more efficient and structured uh, by eliminating uh, the use of paper orders and SOPs. Furthermore, Tilaf Meru has offered two KDS for its worker to refer to, allowing uh, each and every staff members to refer to the SOP in peace. As not all kitchen staff uh, will refer to the same screen. Not only that, but the font on the KDS can be changed. Tilaf Meru employees can choose any font size that they are comfortable with for all text in the font size tab. Moving on to the description of the to be process for chart. As you can see here, this is the flowchart uh, for to be processed. Step 1 is to greet the customer. The business start here where once the customer came into the outlet, the cashier will greet with simple question as example, Hello, welcome to Tea Life. How would you like to order? And step 2 we have is the customer interested to order. If they are interested to order, they can proceed to look at the menu. However, if the customer is not interested the, to continue the ordering, the process will stop here. Step 3 is key in and confirmation order. To avoid any misunderstanding, the cashier will key in the client order and confirm the customer's order once the customer is ready to order. 
Step 4 is customer make payment. Cash or debit credit card will be accepted at Tilah Meru. At this time, the cashier will inquire if the customer has a, a Tilah member card in a way to collect points and obtain additional vouchers in the future. Step 5 is to give balance to customer. If the customer uh, pays in cash, the cashier will give the remaining amount when the customer has finished paying. However, if the customer paid uh, the order by using a debit or credit card, there will be no remaining amount that should be given. Step 6 is give receipt to customer. The next step is to provide the receipt so that the customer has a record of the order for uh, which they have paid. It is uh, crucial to provide a receipt uh, to the customer as a proof of a transaction. Customer may know the order number to pick up the order from the dispatch uh, station. The order number can be displayed on the screen thanks to the new KDS system, which eliminates the need for the cashier to manually call the order number, which it can save time. Step 7 is order sent to KDS. The specified of the order will be displayed to KDS immediately after the customer has made the payment to the order and received a receipt. Uh, with the new improvement, the, ca the cashier no longer needs to manually send the order to the kitchen because KDS will automatically send the order to the kitchen as soon as the customer completes their payment. Step number 8 is staff prepare the order using KDS. After the staff has notified the order via the KDS, the kitchen staff will begin making the order by consulting the SOP and instruction via the KDS. Kitchen staff no longer must resort to manual SOP because KDS has presented all the SOP on the screen. Staff could quickly prepare the drink with KDS because everything they needed was displayed on the screen. Last step for the process which is step 9 is seal the cups and give to the customer. When the kitchen staff uh, has finished making the orders, they will give them uh, to the dispatch staff who will seal the cups. Uh, the order will pass on the customer by dispatch employees. The customer will get the order only after the dispatch crew confirm the, the receipt number uh, matches the number displayed on the screen. Even though the flowchart of to pay process is almost similar with as if process, but there is major difference in terms of effectiveness. This is because after Tilaf Meru has changed their menu SOP with KDS, the whole process of ordering only takes 4 minutes and 56 seconds while it takes 7 minutes 55 seconds when they, uh, they use manual SOP. Lastly is the benefits of to be process. First benefit is order accuracy has improved. Because of the SOP are displayed on the screen while utilizing our KDS, it increased order accuracy. All of the SOP drinks uh, and measurements uh, that the staff has to know are shown on the screen. The accuracy of creating a drink will increase because the employees will refer to KDS when making a drink. Second is improved kitchen efficiency. A KDS increased efficiency by eliminating the need for kitchen staff uh, to waste time uh, reviewing the laminate papers containing the drinks SOP. Indeed, the increased effi efficiency afforded by a KDS is significant enough that it is possible uh, to create more orders without increasing uh, kitchen staff. Third is reduce delay order. Rather than having to wait for the payment procedure to be completed and printed information of the order to be transmitted to the kitchen and presented to the kitchen staff, the order displays on the KDS as soon as the client completes confirms their purchase uh, at the counter and may be processed immediately. KDS will reduce the uh, time it takes between uh, placing an order and having it prepared. Last but not least is reduce waste. By using KDS, we can reduce waste. This is because when using KDS, the instruction is accurate and most likely are less risk in making wrong orders. When we decrease the amount of making wrong orders, it means that we also reduce waste because wrong order cannot be given to other customers or next customer. It has to be disposed immediately. From that, using KDS will reduce waste. That's all for our uh, two-bill process part. I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. 
Hello everyone, my name is Siti Ajwa bin Himawa Sudmi and I will take my turn as the last presenter to present the conclusion part. In conclusion, TILAF has used qualitative and quantitative measurement for their technique to analyze how effective the new system brings to the customer satisfaction. Here is a table that summarizes all the findings. Qualitative measurement refers to the type of information that report the characteristic and it will be in the form of descriptive word that will enable the to analyze of the pattern, while quantitative refers to the measurement of data, usually in the form of number, which help the business to run statistical analysis. So, as what have been mentioned by, by TLAF manager Puan Akma, the percentage of customer satisfaction with their order by rating 1 to 5 star when TLAF implemented the KDS kitchen display system compared to the manual standard operation procedure SOP became the first quality measurement used by TLAF. TLAF uses Food Panda apps to measure this quality measurement. The Food Panda application shows average customer satisfaction after receiving the order. This situation occurred before TLAF implemented the KDS in their working area where their staff need to thoroughly read the manual SOP before completing the order. Meanwhile, the making time for one order is advisedly below 3 minutes. But after TLAF introduced the KDS, surprisingly, uh, the rating in Food Panda application drastically changed. From average rate, it turns out to be excellent. This shows that their satisfaction is improved when TLAF implement KDS. Next, the measurement continues by analyzing and evaluating the percentage of customers giving complaints or review as feedback on their taste order. TLAF usually receive a regular review and some complaints about their order. So after TLAF implement KDS, the drink's flavor and sugar taste become more consistent. This improvement not only change the drink taste but also boost the drink's presentation and packaging. Okay, now we move other measurement, uh, which is the qualitative measurement. <clears throat> TLAF used the percentage of staff successfully compl completed uh, the order correctly by using KDS is higher than manual. Based on rating on Food Panda apps before implementing KDS, only 60% of customers rate their order high by giving 4 or 5 star after receiving the order. As a result, there must be a complaint about the teeth of glass the TLAF received. However, when KDS is implemented, the percentage of 60% improved by 20%. This shows that the staff are doing their work right and excellently fulfilling the customer request. Quantitative measurement continues to the percentage of costs when implementing the KDS is less than manual SOP. Costs can be time, money, and manpower. Uh, based on an Based on the analysis run by T Life Management, the regular duration for the staff to complete the order is one and a half minute less than when she when they use the SOP. And eighty percent of team in T Life agrees that T Life can spend less money to prepare useful training for the staff for the new staff. Now let's we jump to other part, which are factor of critical success in the project. There are four factors that have been detected in this project. First is a methodology and project approach, second time, third uh, business focus and the last one is visible active leadership. The methodology needs the people to gather up, team up for the organization long term benefit. As for T-Life Kitchen Display System KDS need the staff to team, team up and learn to use new system. The manager should be the one who teach and introduce the system entirely to the staff. As for time, we need to understand that all change take time and so does business re-engineering process. Kitchen display system KDS is the improvement which the manual turned into automated. The system is not going too far and making significant change in the business. So the staff still can easily understand how the work system and know how to use. Move the other factor uh, which is the business focus. It has a more extensive definition to ensure the success of implementing the process re-engineering by depending on the three element processing. T-Life followed the trend when they followed the current technology which is KDS. This new system helped the staff to eliminate unnecessary steps and the system itself is user-friendly. And lastly, the visible and active leadership. 
It is essential as a leader to not use negative reinforcement while implementing the changes. Instead, the left manager used the training session to introduce the new system directly to the staff. This shows that the manager has a good communication and leadership skill when the staff easily get the information and is open to the changes. We are going to the last point, which is the problem the team might face in implementing the improved process. TLF has declared when implementing the KDS, the first problem that the team might face is when there is no electricity. Without electricity, the system cannot be accessed, forcing the staff to use the manual SOP. Uh, when the electricity is available, the system will reboot and the expired order will be that as like order is not copied yet. This is phase where uh, the staff need to delete one by one the expired order that shows that system can also become time consuming. The next problem is Lone Ranger. A Lone Ranger is someone who likes to act alone without getting consultation and approval from others. As TLF staff, it is essential to work as a team. It is also important to refer to the management if matter arises while completing the order. Doing it alone without consultation will bring the worst things to the business. Sadly, it can be a considerable matter where the business must spend a lot of budget to cover the damage. The last problem is the pretender. In an easy word, it can define a person who likes to claim and any title and position when implementing the KDS alive. Hiring a potential person into the system is necessary. Managers are an excellent choice as they have a good leadership skills and are versatile to teach the staff about the new system. The matter happens when someone tries to overshadow the manager and start to lead the use the different and wrong way to use system. I think that's all for me. Thank you.